back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Haley, and I'm so glad that you came to check out my channel. Please, if you are new and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you can get notified of when I post videos. I post videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays, most of the time in the morning, like 85% of the time in the morning, unless I'm still editing it on that day. But just go ahead and subscribe before we get into this video, and yeah. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites for the month of January. I have about, I think I have five to show you today, so it's not going to be a super long video. Um, just want to say a little thing about favorites videos. I'm not going to have one for you every month because, you know, I'm trying to save money, so it kind of defeats the purpose of saving money if I'm, like, buying new stuff every month to share with you guys. Um, unless I find, like, stuff that I already have that I use and I haven't shared it with you already then I'll kind of compile a favorites video but just want to let you guys know bottom line I probably won't have one up every single month for you but we have one this month so and I have an Amazon favorites video coming for you guys soon so check that out it's got a lot of good stuff on it so without further ado let's get into this video and if you want to know what my favorites are for the month of January then definitely keep watching so these are all kind of like beauty slash lifestyle um products I have a mixture of skincare hair care makeup got it all in five products it makes it sound like I have a lot but I promise I don't so I'm just gonna go ahead and start listing them off and talking a little bit about them for you so my first product is this shampoo from Living Proof, it's called Living Proof Perfect Hair Day, and I feel like they did, like, there's, like, an acronym on there that says PhD, and I feel like they did that on purpose, like, doctor formula or whatever. Um, it's called the Triple Detox Shampoo, removes product pollution and hard water buildup. Guys, I used this for the first time last night when I took a shower after work, and I know, like, you kind of got to use stuff for a while to feel like it, if it's a favorite, but... Not with this. Um, I used this and I immediately, like, my hair didn't have that, like, I don't, I don't know the word I'm looking for, like, slimy feeling, I guess, afterwards. Like, I'm going to get a lot more in-depth in with this topic when I do my hair detox video in a couple, you know, it's coming up. Because I have everything planned out for that. Um, but I could just tell after I rinsed it out that I didn't have like build up or product build up left over. Like it really felt like it cleansed my hair. And I'm gonna say my hair didn't feel soft afterwards, but that's because it's taking the build up of my products that I'm currently using off my hair and like actually getting down to the hair follicle itself. Just come back for my next video if you're a little bit confused because I'll explain it a lot more. And that one, I just don't want to like ruin it right now. But anyway, if your hair is flat and greasy and just feels like it has so much product buildup on it, get yourself a bottle of this. This has no sulfates, no silicones. It's not like a harsh clarifying shampoo, but it does the job. Like it's so nice. And it feels really like cooling on your scalp because it has mint. I believe it has mint and charcoal in it. I'm definitely charcoal because you can just tell from the color of it. Um... Yeah, so if you're in some need of a like little detox and clarifying shampoo, this is your guy. Next up, we have this hair oil from the brand Acure. Actually, it's hair slash skin oil. I use it as a hair oil. It is the Essentials Marula Oil, and it's 100% straight marula oil, no other ingredients added, and it is cold-pressed and virgin and organic, I believe. It doesn't say it on here. I said that on the outside box, but I threw it away. I ordered this on Amazon. I will link everything that I'm showing you guys in the description below. A couple of them are Amazon things, but this product is organic, cold-pressed, 100% virgin marula oil. So... If you're looking for something natural on your hair, I definitely recommend this. I've used it for probably a month now. I started using it when we were in Florida, so the beginning of January. And it just makes my hair feel so soft. Like, so much better than any other hair serums do. And it's because it's real. Like, it's not silicones and just, like, fillers that I've come to realize are in a lot of high-end beauty products. Like, it's disgusting. But... This stuff, 100% natural, real, real deal. 
and I love the way it makes my hair feel. It's so good. I've looked up the benefits of marula oil and it is so good for your hair and skin. I just have something else that I use on my skin, so I'm keeping this with my hair. Next up, I'm gonna switch to a makeup product. This is kind of old, but new to me, I guess, in a way. I don't think I've honestly ever used it on my channel. I've had it for a while, but I have not used it in a makeup video. It is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I've been using this stuff every, oops, I almost threw it at myself, every single, I can't hold on to it, I cannot hold on to it, every single day, as just like an everyday um, makeup, I use it as like a foundation, I put moisturizer on underneath it because I don't think it's great at the moisturizer part, um, I think it's just great as like a very sheer coverage foundation, which is what I've been using it as. If you want a little bit more coverage, just go over it with some concealer, which I've also done if I have time, because usually when I'm getting ready in the morning, I don't have time, because I can't get my ass out of bed. But I just like it because my self-tan doesn't stick to my face as well as it does the rest of me, and this kind of just evens out everything. Looks like I have makeup on, but looks like I don't have makeup on at the same thing, and it actually has, I mean, makes sense because it says pure radiant, but it does give you like a nice subtle glow. So I've been really liking this. I have this in the shade Groenland, Groenland, I can't pronounce that. It says Groenland and then light three underneath, and I got this at Sephora. So next I have another Amazon purchase. These are exfoliators for your self tan, or if you just want to exfoliate your skin in general. I haven't used this one yet, but you can tell I've used that one. These, honestly, like, I bought these because I have a loving tan one and I lost it when we moved. I found it afterwards, but I already had these purchased. And I was kind of stuck in Florida without one, so I bought them. I believe they were like $6 for the pack of two, maybe eight, but still super cheap for two of them. And they really work. You don't have to scrub hard with these at all. If you do, it kind of hurts. So they really get the job done and they're durable, affordable, and really good for getting off some unwanted tan, so. Last product I'm gonna to talk to you about today is a hair product. It is the Olaplex number three hair perfector. This is one of the ones you can take home with you. Um, so I've been trying to stay away from their shampoo and conditioner because of certain ingredients that are in it that I will talk to you about in the near future. But this one does not have, I'm reading it right now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have what I was thinking. Um, this one does not have silicones in it or sulfates and it's not a leave-in conditioner. It's called a, it doesn't say it on here, but it's like a bond smoother. So the certain chemicals that are in it are supposed to like rebuild your hair shaft in a way, I guess. And it really works for me. I don't use it a lot. Like I probably use it twice a month. So once every two weeks and you're supposed to use it before you wash and condition your hair. So I just get my hair wet in the shower, lather my hair up in it and leave it on for however I want to. Sometimes I do it overnight even. And then I rinse and do my the rest of my shower hair routine and I'm good. And it really does smooth your hair really good. Um, in combination with other products, like not their shampoo and conditioner, but just other really good natural, like good for your hair hair products, this does a really nice job. So I just want to share this with you guys. And yeah, I think that's everything that I have for today. I didn't want to make this a super long video because I feel like favorites videos and like you, me just sitting here talking to you about stuff is, gets a little boring after a while. And I didn't really have like a crap ton of stuff that I wanted to be a favorites for you guys. So keeping it short and sweet today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and go ahead and subscribe. We're at 115. I've grown 11 in just this past month, which is really good for me considering I fell off the face of the earth for a while and am slowly coming back. So really, really thankful for that, you guys. Thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video.